this very short episode, I want to walk you through installing Node.js on a Mac. Head over to nodejs.org and click the Install button right here. It will end up downloading the latest version of Node, which in my case is version 0.10.26. Now I've already got it downloaded here, but it should only take a minute or so if you have a fast enough internet connection, maybe a few minutes if you have a slow connection. Once you have it downloaded, go ahead and double click on the package, and you'll see the standard installer here. I'm going to click continue, get through the installer, click install, enter my password when it asks me to, and let it do its thing. Once you have this installed, there's going to be a message here telling you that you need to add slash user slash local slash bin to your path. Now if you're not familiar with command line tooling and editing environment variables, don't worry about it. I'm going to walk you through that really quickly here. So I'm going to go ahead and select this and copy it so that I don't get it wrong. And I'm going to hit close because I don't really need this anymore. And I'm going to open up a terminal window, which I have here. And in my terminal, I'm going to use a standard Vim editor in order to edit my .bashrc file from my home directory. Now the bashrc file is your profile on your system. Whenever you open up a terminal, this file gets run to set up all of your environment variables and your prompt and a whole bunch of other things that you can do with it. And we can see down here that I already have slash user slash local bin inside of my path. But if you didn't have any of this here, you would only need to type export path equals slash user slash local slash bin. Of course, you can also copy and paste, which I did before, copied it from that installation screen. Now, if you have an existing path variable already and you don't want to override that, you can put colon dollar sign path at the end here, and that will take any existing path variables that you have, and it will simply prepend user local bin to the front of your environment variable for your path. Of course, I already have this here, so I'm going to go ahead and delete that line that I added. I'm going to save this and quit. If you did have to edit your bash RC file, you can reload that without having to close and reopen your terminal window. Just type source dot bash RC, and that will reload the script. Now that you've done that, you can run node-v and see that you do have the correct version of Node.js installed. In my case, I downloaded and installed version 0.10.26, and that's the version that we see. That's really it for installing Node.js on a Mac. It's pretty quick and pretty simple, and from here you'll be able to do a lot of interesting things with JavaScript running on your box.